Is that a frog? Sounds like a frog. Tree frog? Neat. friends. Oh, hey, vulture. So I am out here on my friend's farm today um, because I had to deliver some stuff, which I should, you should have seen it before. And uh, also because I want to do, uh, get in my house, uh, you see my COVID hair, and, uh, and get some time uh, to do a walk around in the truck. So that is what we're planning on doing today. Um, I may be taking more time than is necessary because look at it out here. It's fucking gorgeous. <laughs> I've been watching all the animals up in the hillsides. And then I got my truck stuck over there. Well, I didn't get stuck, I slid back down the hill. Um, it's very slick mud. It's been wet. I didn't push any buttons aside from the four wheel drive buttons. I didn't mess around with anything else because it was very slick. Anyway, irrelevant. So two things to keep in mind about my truck is that um, it's my daily driver. And so it has to be reliable. And it is also uh, parked in a high, yeah, let's say high crime, but People get a lot of stuff stolen off their cars. Um, I, I think I showed the video before, and I'll, and I'll post it again with a guy going, you know, trying to get into it. Uh, he got arrested. Sweet. Um, so some important things, though, is that stuff has to be hidden or removable. So that's why my rooftop tent isn't on most of the time. My Max Tracks, well, my knockoff Max Tracks, they aren't on most of the time. My CB is not in it. My CB antenna is not in it. I got a whole list. Let's go ahead and go through all this crap. <laughs> all right. So this is my Tacobra. It's a 2017 Toyota Tacoma TRD off-road um, in blazing blue, custom ordered because I wanted all sorts of stuff and nothing else. It took me two months to get it that way and I strongly recommend if you're going to get a new one, get the one you want, get it ordered. So let's talk about what we have here. So first thing I did, actually at all, uh, bed linered the grill to get the braces look off. And that's just rattle can bed liner. It turned out to work pretty well. Uh, and I have my Cobra symbol there, that's custom made. I have another video about that if you want to know more. I got the Kurt hitch on the bottom because uh, I'd like to carry bikes on the front. That has never worked out correctly. Uh, I've moved trailers once. Uh, I could theoretically put a snow plow on there, but more importantly, I can put my winch on. And like I said, I don't want to carry a winch around all the time because it'll get stolen. Also, uh, you know, the extra weight is unnecessary for a daily driver. 
Let's see, I have my winch plug down there, which is pretty slick. My friend Chris helped me get that sorted out. So I just slap the winch in there, plug it in, and it's good to go. Got uh, ox beam four inch LED pods, both sides. I had to put a little bit of lift on those. These are uh, some kind of weird Amazon aftermarket uh, hood mounts. And uh, you see, I put that little addition on there and that seems to make it work a lot better and reflect less off my hood. Got the AC drain mod I did. I have a video about that. It's not terribly interesting. And frankly, in my opinion, it was unnecessary. Um, also got my Bloodworks front plate holder uh, on front and rear, uh, mainly because I like the color matching. Uh, encourages people to donate blood, which I think is a good thing to do. And maybe make people think I'm a good guy so they don't run into me. Uh, okay, next is under the hood. There's no reason to go underneath the hood because I have done nothing underneath there aside from run a couple wires. So let's look at the side. Uh, let's see, I've got uh, Metal Tech Design, but uh, Outpost Off-Road Built Sliders on there. That's a story that nobody really cares about. Uh, door handle covers. So I put these on in March. I have a video that should have just come out about these. They work well. I did a terrible job installing them. So I don't know, make of that as you will. So I got the stock roof racks. Um, some people think these are terrible and they bad mouth them. Uh, I think they're pretty cool. Uh, I like the look of them, and I like that they fold out. A lot of people don't realize how this works. Pull that out, folds across, plugs in on that side, and the other one comes back. Now, the nice thing about that is it doesn't make any wind noise when you don't need them. And, I mean, you can get stronger ones, but those are strong enough for what I need to use it for. And if I need something stronger, I get this back here. All right, so this is a snug top rubble canopy. I've taken all of the uh, snug top markings off of it because I don't like having markings on my car that uh, that I didn't put there. Notice the Tacoma symbol's off the back or off the side. You know, the Tacoma symbol is a Cobra symbol on the front. I would get rid of this if I could, but I haven't figured out a way to do that yet. I don't know, I've never been a big fan of the name Tacoma because I've been there in Washington and it's kind of a shithole. So this is a snug top rebel canopy with the sportsman package, as I mentioned before. The sportsman package means you can put more weight on the roof, like up to 500 pounds. Um, I think in hindsight, that was unnecessary. Uh, it also uh, puts some, I guess, some places to put uh, fishing poles in there, which I opted out of, and now I don't know why I opted out of it. I could at least put some guns up there or something. I don't know. So one of the things I really like about this top is that it has uh, USB ports. Always on, right here. I don't know if this is standard on all these things nowadays, but it's standard on mine. Oops, a little bit tilted there, but... That's nice to have to charge things. All right, I've also got uh, the dog mesh wire on here, so the dogs can ride in the back without going through the screen. I got the rhino racks up on there. I've been pretty happy with those, um, except the little rubber stuff on top there kind of gives away if you squish it too hard. Got my Yakima rack that's a refurb my friend had that he sold it to me for 50 bucks and i tore it all apart rebuilt it and put it back up there and that's been carrying a lot of crap which i've been pretty happy about also got the plastic color cheapo mud guards um, i like them because they have flex whereas the ones that come with the truck do not in fact i had them not put on my truck also i've got my sumo shocks in here let's see if we can see them there you go here's the sumo shock I've been very happy with that purchase. Really levels out the vehicle. Um, when I have weight in the back, it doesn't you know, throw it around, doesn't act weird. And if I hit good bumps, um, it's a lot gentler on the rear end. It used to be kind of jarring. I would say, beside the canopy, the best purchase I made was the Sumo Shocks. I highly recommend those. For people who don't want to do lift, but they want more stability, they don't want, they want to sort things out back there, it's simple install. In fact, I have a video of it, and it's one of my most watched videos. Oh, I also have the matching Cobra stickers back here because it, well, they went over the snug top stickers. I don't think I've ever gone any place that really required a lift. And frankly, most people who have lifts haven't gone places that require a lift either. Um, you can't really tell right now because I got them covered in the muck from up there, which is 90% horse shit. Uh, good thing this is in smell Uh These are Falcon Wild Peak AT3Ws. These are the 265 uh, 75R16s which is one size up from stock. The stock is a, is a 70R instead of a 75. Uh, they fit really nice. I've never had them rub. They're just a little bit bigger, which is nice. And frankly, aside from the 
this one when I just got them loaded with mud and horseshit. Uh, they've gotten me wherever I needed to go. And frankly, if I went back up there and I pushed all the buttons to make it so it was more grippy, um, I'd probably be able to get up there. No, is no, no issues whatsoever. Um, oh yeah, about the Cobra stickers, I should probably put a picture of my Jeep in here just so you guys get an idea of why that's that. And uh, now we're on to the next page. All right, this is the back of the truck. See, I've got my Bloodworks thing there. I got my Tacoma 3G sticker uh, of a community, less emoticons, I guess. Um, and I won uh, March truck, March 2020 truck of the month. Truck of the month, anyway. So here's what I got back here. Uh, this is my CV antenna or my CV antenna mount. I don't know if my antenna because I don't want it to get stolen. This is a Cali raised mount. I wasn't entirely happy with it. In order to get it so it would fit with the uh, with the canopy, I had to shave off a lot on here. And it has a little bit of flex. Now, the one thing I did notice, well, one thing to know, it fits over the Total Chaos uh, rack or uh, uh, bed stiffeners, no problem. Uh, but this was a bolt like that and it stripped right out. And so I had to put a bolt on the back of it and put this one on the front. And then now it's okay, but with the default bolts, it was pretty much garbage. Now oh, I got a winch plug down here, as you see, winch plug, so I can pull myself both out of and into trouble. And I got the uh, Tacoma bed mat. I went with the original uh, official whatever one uh, because it was only a little bit cheaper to get the generic, and the generic, he had to do some cutting. I said, fuck it, I'll just get the regular one. Really helps when the dogs want to be in the back because they don't slide over over hell and gone. Uh, let's see, uh, like I said, the total, cha total Chaos Bed Stiffeners, I've been really happy with those. I got the head rail, which doesn't come on the Gen 3s for some reason, but you can buy one, it'll go right up. Or if you know somebody with the Gen 2 who doesn't use it, you can just take it off there, so it's the same thing. Uh, I've got some side-mounted little hooks I put in there. That's 3D printed. Uh, uh, oh, actually, those ones are aluminum. I made those in the shop. On the front, the ones holding the quick grips in there are 3D printed. And I like to always travel with a shovel. That's that's the one thing I keep in there. Nobody seems to want to steal my shovel, so that's good. I might actually start running with a fire extinguisher. I think that can do that without getting stolen from the well. Oh, my crap! My paper just blew away. Okay, now we're going in the front seat. Okay, let's see. Suicide knob. Suicide knob. Dash cam. Dash cam. Highly recommend a dash cam and keep it turned on when uh, you have it go to the shop because I keep catching the shop doing stuff they shouldn't be doing. Uh, silicone wedding ring for men. <laughs> That's these things right here on the, uh, uh, on the radio knobs. Makes it a thousand times better. Um, you really should get these if you have one of these, these stereos. These head units, whatever. Uh, vehicle OCD center console organizer tray, which is in here. Um, and the one that goes with those are, those are also a must buy. That interior space is completely useless without those. The Protec auto front seat covers. So I've had these for two and a half years now and they were 20 bucks and you'll see the reason I got them is to not wear out here in the bolster but you'll see I actually have worn through this so um, I need to get some new ones or something else. Got husky liner front floor liners. I got huskies in the front um, and I got weather tech in the back. I got this set up here. It's a 3d printed button mounty thing uh, and it glows in the dark which is kind of cool. So my, I've only added two switches, one for the, the, uh, the ditch lights and one for the winch, which makes a satisfying clunk. I like how they light up. I should have got both of them blue. It, I didn't. That was my, my fault. All LED bulbs in here, uh, which greatly increases the, uh, uh, the visibility. Also got my, uh, I got three car mounts those are 3d printed with the the magnet things I'm out there I have my covid uh mask which is funny every truck i've seen lately has got it hanging from their rear view like this uh and then i got my i got my patches up on the roof initially i um it's, it's all the uh national parks i've been to and then a couple other outliers um initially i tried to stick them on there like people do just by twisting it they kept falling off so then i put a strip of um velcro tape now the velcro tape falls off with all of it so i gotta find a new fix for that okay back seat okay back here we have uh, the waterproof car back bench seat cover protector for kids or for chill for pets but i use it for kids because my kids are slobs and they make a big damn mess back here look at that that's from 
a soccer cleat. My daughter ripped this stupid thing. That's the cover. What the? Yeah. Oh, what else? I've got these uh, seat back covers here that my kids can put all their crap in so they stop trying to hand it to me. Uh, I've also got uh, USB plugs coming out the back so they can power their devices. Uh, so hidden underneath my hat here, I've got antibacterial wipes and Purell. You have to hide that because it's where I live. I think otherwise it would get stolen. Yeah, that's the kind of town I live in. I think that's it. Ooh, I should have wore shorts. It's really nice out here. Okay, well, let's talk about the stuff I don't run normally. Um, I only bring with me when I go out uh, to do something. Um, my rooftop tent. My Max Tracks, Maxes are knockoffs. Um, I'm of the opinion that if you pay for the uh, uh, the Max Tracks and you never use them, then that's a waste of money. So I got the Maxa ones, which were, I think, like one third the price. I've yet to use them. Um, so they're working just as well as Max Tracks at this point. Um, if I do use them and they get me out of trouble, but I tear them up, I can still use them two more times or I can still buy two more of them and be maxed up with Max Tracks. So, I mean, that, that makes more sense to me. Plus, they're getting even cheaper now. I've seen them for like 80 bucks. Uh, I have a Smittybilt uh, WRC winch uh, with, on a Harbor Freight um, winch mount. Winch mount? Receiver mount. You know what? So I slide it in. Um, not too happy with that, actually. The first time I plugged in the, uh, uh, the controller, I unplugged it and the plastic shattered and the whole thing came out. So I think I'm going to rebuild that in aluminum. But uh, kind of disappointing. Smitty, Smitty built is a kind of a disappointing company for me in general because uh, some you may know my other vehicle is a jeep and i've been dealing with them for years and they make products that are useful but their instructions are always terrible and their customer service is non-existent meaning that if you email them or call them nobody picks up nobody answers the emails they're it's atrocious and they don't seem to care uh let's see cb antenna is not here cb is not here i have a unit in uh i have a 1500 amp uh jump starter which primarily I just use for charging all my USB stuff, but I don't carry that in here. Uh, and my high lift jack, I don't bring with me. Um, and let's be honest, most people have the high lift jacks just so they can, it looks cool. Nobody's using those damn things. <laughs> I use mine mostly to pull out rhododendrons. All right, and what's hidden, what you can't see, that is in the truck, but I'm not gonna get out because I don't need to dig it out. Got my rota beam, that's one of those lights that goes on the top and, and flashes, it's amber. Um, I use that if uh, and on an occasion uh, we get snow and trees come down and I have used my chainsaw and I throw the rotor beam on to essentially get the trees out of my street and so people won't run into me while I'm doing it. Uh, I've got deflators, I've got a Vlare uh, 88P portable air compressor, which I've been very happy with. I, I don't understand why you would get an onboard air compressor. I don't know what makes that much better. I'm sure somebody will tell me in the comments. Um, but this one I can put with whatever vehicle I'm using and it works really well. I will tell you though, uh, from my experience at the, uh, at the Coyote Works overlanding thing, that if you use it on, I think it was eight tires and then touch it, you are going to get a serious burn on your hand. That's how hot that thing gets. There was a mark on me for a few days and it hurt. I would not, did not expect it to get burning hot. I've also got toe strap, poncho, flashlights, uh, various assortments of tools, cold weather hat and gloves, work gloves, uh, uh, nitro gloves, uh, basic survival and first aid kit, binoculars, foldable shovel, to go with my other shovel and snow chains. I always carry those, but they're all underneath the seat and stuff like that. I'm not going to dig them out. So there you go. There's my walk around. Uh, it's probably way more detail. If you made it this far, I'm shocked. Um, but it's nice to see you. Um, see if there's anything I can take a picture of that, that you might enjoy because you stayed at the end of the video. Um, I don't see any hawks right now. No, oh, there's the valley. No, no. There's the valley. Get my head out of the shot. How's that? Anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe or not, whatever. Bye.